Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Anyone Can Code. This is the level 2 video. If you have just visited this video and come across this content, then I would like to tell you there are a lot of things and very informational part of the previous videos that is going to be reused in this video. So please go and check them out as well. So it is going to be absolutely informational for you. Also, in this series of videos, I am not expecting you to have any prior knowledge of coding or any background rela related to coding. If you have an interest in coding, then you can just follow this series and uh, understand how coding works and how you can start coding right away. Right. Uh, so it is going to be absolutely a wonderful ride for all those who are interested in um, uh, learning coding so even if you are a child or you know some adult who wants to just understand how coding works so just stick tight because this video series is going to be absolutely a joy ride for you right uh, so yeah uh, the platform that we are using is code.org another wonderful thing that about this uh, platform is that it's absolutely accessible to everyone you just need to go and uh, create an account and in a certain way you need to create that account and it is an absolutely free account also no subscription required while you are coding or you know using this plat uh, particular platform so far i've been using it for one long year and uh, i haven't come across any uh, you know subscription requirement or anything yes there are some uh, features that are available only under paid partnerships but paid subscriptions but if you are someone who wants to, you know, uh, do that on a much later stage and start for now, this is an amazing platform. You can totally use it. Many renowned, uh, you know, teaching platforms use this, uh, you know, platform. So you can use it too, right? Uh, so, yeah, uh, 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 that's so far for the platform. So I will add the link in the description. You can just go and check that out. Uh, also, what kind of account needs to be created what all settings you need to make everything has been told in my previous videos you can go and check them out uh yeah so in this particular part of the video we are going to be doing two tasks again so the first one we are going to be using math.random in an exclusive manner you might have come across if you have watched my previous videos then you have might have come across one video in which i had be i had used math.random in order to you know bring a particular shade to the screen if you can recall by that uh, if not then you can go and check that out uh, that particular video right um, so yeah uh, another thing that we're going to be doing with the help of this particular button is basically open a link uh, right so that button will help you uh, open a link uh, as you might have come across in mobile applications that uh, you know they ask you to click a particular button in order to visit a particular link or you you know just press the google chrome and the google opens in front of you so in this part of the video we are going to be you know opening google.com right uh, so yeah so far this information for you uh, now we'll be just breaking down this concept into little you know bits and pieces so that we can understand how we are going to implement that in this case, you need to have a button and uh, our task to be performed is display the value of math.random so that we can understand what exactly goes into math.random, right? So if uh, any concept was, you know, un not understood in my previous video where I used the math.random, you will definitely be able to grab uh, a piece of your, uh, you know, uh, clarity in this particular video right so yeah uh, we'll be displaying the value of math.random also we are going to be using the same button to you know visit a link uh, right so yeah now in order to do that we need to have a button which will be clickable next we need to have a text to change and uh, uh, because we are going to be changing the 
you know we are going to be displaying the value of the math dot random in that particular text part right so and we need to have a link that we we will be you know visiting uh, on the button click right so uh, this is whole concept that we are going to be implementing in the in, in this video right so uh, stick tight let's find out in the next uh, so yeah, uh, this is the platform that I have uh, been using in this uh, series of videos. So this is uh, the, you know, these are the elements that uh, I have already placed on my screen if you want to know how that is being done. So you need to just go in, in the design tab and uh, find a button for yourself and drag and drop in here. Right. And next I have done, a, uh, I have basically added a label. So how that is done is totally been told in my previous videos. Go and check them out. You will be able to understand how that is done in a much clearer way. Right. So what I am going to be doing here is basically uh, uh, now I'll be going to the code part. Right. So in order to make my button clickable, I'll be adding an on event. Uh, so in order to do that, I'll be just dragging and dropping this piece of code here. Right. So I'll be giving it uh, the ID of my button. Now, how to find out what ID, you know, the button holds. I have also told that concept in my previous video. You will be able to find it out uh, through them. So go and check them out please uh, yeah and uh, next thing what I'm going to do is um, yeah now we need to have a set text uh, function in order to change the text to the value of the math dot random right so uh, the first thing what we're going to do is uh, display the value of the math dot random function right so as you might have uh, known by watching my previous videos what set text does right so here i am just going to provide it the label or uh, the id of uh, the this particular text so i'll be just hovering and finding it out so id of this particular label is label one right uh, so that id i have mentioned i will be mentioning it here right now the next part that comes is basically the text right so if i add a text in the inverted commas it will be displayed uh, as it is right now what i need to do is basically i need to display the value of the math dot random function right in order to do that i will be just uh, going to the math section and i will just find out math dot random right uh so yeah now i need to go and add drag and drop it in here right so as you can see i've already added this part now i'll be trying to run this part so that i can see if that is that has been implemented in the correct manner or not right so just run and uh, let's click it as you can see uh, it is displaying the value between uh, now what uh, math dot random uh, displays as value is basically it displays any any you know uh, number between zero and one so all the values that it returns are basically in decimal places right uh, so also the value it uh, holds never includes one right so it can have n number of uh, you know uh, values in it that range between zero to one with uh, you know about uh, these uh, long decimal places right uh, so but uh, and there are unlimited possibilities of keep changing it right so every time i click it every time it is going to me giving me a uh, different pattern of codes so as many times you do it as many times the number will not be same right uh, so this is pretty much working for us now let's move on to the next part that uh, we were going to uh, be implementing right so i'll be just resetting it so uh, we are going to now uh, be doing that right so i will just uh, remove this and throw it in right i will be going to the ui part right uh, so here i am going to set
now here now here uh, i will be going to the design tab and i will be finding uh, the mm, yeah i already have the button sorry uh, but uh, now i need to just put it back the label part right so i need to just go and uh, now make this button uh, allow us to visit a particular link right so in order to do that i will be adding an open uh, function to it right this what it does now in order to find that out uh, you need to just uh, you know dance your uh, you know little cursor on it so when it shows you this window just go and see the examples right so as you can see uh, there is not much information here but the url to open right so it basically takes a url as you can see it here in a string format or in a text format so it uh, anything that you will be mentioning under this will be in the inverted commas right just take it like that now as you can see a predefined uh, link has been given so um let's check this one out first so when you will click see co.org was open right but if i want to change this uh, uh, and i want to visit google chrome let's find that out google com right uh yeah so this is the piece of co uh, this is the piece of link that now i'll be visiting so let's find out so reset and run again when I click on this, as you can see, you are leaving this app. Do you want to open this website, which is HTTPS Google.com? So I'll be, I can press continue. And as you can see, I have landed on my Google page, uh, which I was supposed to uh, or expected to visit when I click on my button. If you want to see it again, just click on this as you can see it is going to be redirecting me to the google.com right uh, so yeah so far uh, this is the thing also if you want to share your code uh, that has also been uh, pretty much displayed and demonstrated in my previous videos you can find all this information what these things do what these buttons do what these tabs are how to change the name of your project or how to open a new project every single piece of information has been provided in my previous videos you will definitely find them informational also uh, 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 yeah uh, just uh, keep practicing guys because uh, practice is going to make you perfect and will make you understand much better uh, and uh, the next time you come back and you know check my new content it will definitely be more easier for you to grab uh, right uh, so yeah uh, I, I, I request you to please like share and subscribe because that really gives me a boost uh, like if you enjoyed this video comment your suggestions your, your or, uh, you know point of requirements or any any appreciation if you have for me so please 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 uh, comment that down and even if you have any uh, uh, suggestions for improvements please 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 let me know uh, also please subscribe to my channel guys because it really helps and uh, thank you so much uh, for following so far and even if you have landed on this video all of a sudden thank you so much for watching this far uh, please stick tight subscribe bye bye